we're going to do some more complicated sigma notation problems. Suppose you were asked to find this. Suppose you're asked to find the summation as I go from 1 to n of 1 over n cubed times i minus 1 squared. Now, the variable is i. That's the variable right there. It happens to be i. It could have been j or k, but it's i. That is 1 over n cubed is a constant. And one of the rules that I wrote in the last section is that you can factor out constants. Okay, now we should, okay, there is a typo here. This should be i goes from 1 to n. We should simplify what we are adding up. What is i minus 1 squared? Well, it's i squared minus 2i plus 1. That's i minus 1 squared. So we have 1 over n cubed times this. But that's the summation of, the, of i squared, which is n as i goes from 1 to n. It's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 minus, because it says minus right there, the summation of 2i. It's a constant. The summation of 2i, the constant can come out in front. So it's the summation of i, which is n times n plus 1 over 2. And it's not just the summation of i. Summation of i goes from 1 to n. Coincidentally, the 2's cancel. Plus the summation of 1. The summation of a constant as i goes from 1 to n is the constant times n, which is n. And that would be the answer. A lot of times, I guess I'll say it, is what if they say what's the limit of n goes to infinity? So what we did is exactly what we would do in that case, except we should just be writing the limit as n goes to infinity. The limit as n tends to infinity. I'm going to erase the top because I want to finish this. Now we're going to actually take the limit. We simplify the summation, and now we're going to take the limit. So then right on the very top, we have the limit, and then goes to infinity of 1 over n cubed times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 minus n times n plus 1 plus n. Now instead of 1 over n cubed, I can divide each term by n cubed. I can divide each term by n cubed. So this 1 over n cubed is no longer there. And this is the limit and then goes to infinity, something over n2. Now remember, whatever this is, it gets multiplied by n. Whatever it is, it gets multiplied by n. Well, n times 2n is 2n squared times that n. And then we have plus n plus 2n. That's plus 3n times the n in front. And 1 times 1 is plus 1. 
find the value. Okay, minus n squared plus n, n squared plus n over n cubed, minus n over n cubed. Now I guess we can simplify this. Uh, everything's over n cubed. Everything's over n cubed. We have 2n cubed, and that's it for n cubed. 2n cubed. We have plus 3n squared, and we are taking away 1n squared. So we have 2n squared. We have n, and we are taking away n. That's 0. Minus n is minus n. Well, since the highest power in the top and the bottom are the same, and n is going to infinity, so this is 1 here, the answer is going to be 2 over 1 or 2. Okay, let us try another one. These are not simple. And you have to know the formulas for the summation of i, i squared, i cubed, and the summation of a constant. Remember, 
each of those summation, I go from 1 to n. So we still just keep writing down the word limit. The summation of that constant. It's the constant times n. The summation of c as I go from 1 to n is c times n. And if c happens to be 2 over n, well then c happens to be 2 over n. Only i is changing. i goes from 1 to n. This doesn't depend on i. Take care. If we have plus 8 over n squared times the summation of i, which is n times n plus 1 over 2, plus the constant 8 over n cubed times the summation of i squared, which is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And we need to clean up what's inside those brackets. 100% algebra, then we let n go to infinity. First thing I'll notice is those n's cancel. Limit as n goes to infinity, this is just 2. Plus, 2 goes into 8 4 times. And so you have 4n times n is 4n squared plus 4n times 1 is 4n. And all of this gets divided by n squared. Plus, well, 2 goes into both of these 4 and 3 times. So the bottom is 3 and 2. So on top, we have 4 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. Let's figure out this first. So it will be 4n times 2n squared plus n plus 2 more n, that's 3n plus 1. That is, we are going to get 8, I'm distributing the 4n, we get 8n cubed plus 12n squared plus 4n, all over 3n cubed. So 8n cubed plus 12n plus 4n. Okay. Let me erase this on the bottom. Let's clean up what's in the brackets yet some more. The limit as n goes to infinity of 2 plus. There's my 2 plus. This is just 4 plus. This is 4 over n plus. You know, we can just leave this the way it is. 8n cubed plus 12, well, 12n plus 4n. really wonder if that should have been that way. Well, let me just look at it a moment. 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. And this gets multiplied by 4n. 8n cubed plus 12n squared, excuse me, 12n squared. And of course you all caught that. Plus 12n squared plus 4n all over 3n cubed. And we're going to think of that as one whole piece. And 2 plus 4 is 6. And then changes 6 stays 6 plus. As n gets bigger and bigger, 4 over that goes to 0. Plus, as n gets bigger, since the highest powers are the same, you get 8 over 3. So the final answer is 6 plus 8 over 3, which is 6, 
and a third. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 8. 26 over 3. And 26 over 3 is 8 and 2 thirds. That's what that limit equals. So you can't read that, sorry. 8 and 2 thirds. Maybe I can just put it here. 8 and 2 thirds. So that's what that limit equals. Again, minus some silly error. Okay. Of course, in this here, you could have said it's all over and squared. And since the highest, so you have 4n squared plus 4n over n squared. Maybe I'll put it more in the middle. Just like we didn't separate the last term over here. We could have, but we didn't. This is over n squared. Since the highest powers are the same, and is it understood one there, we get 4 over 1 or 4. And that is what we got. We got 4 plus 0. There's the 0. Where's the 4? Well, I added it to the 2. Okay, so you can do, you could have done it that way as well. We're leading up to actually using, right now I gave you the limits that you had to find. Find the limit of the summation of this. Now in the next section, you're going to have to figure out what you want to take the limit and go to infinity up. Good luck with this.